Anansi and the Gum Man. Once upon a time, there was a shortage of food in Anansi Krum. The chief of Anansi Krum called his people to a meeting. How shall we solve this problem? he asked. The people of Anansi Krum decided to make a farm. They wanted to plant yams. They wanted to plant cassava. They wanted to plant corn. They wanted to plant cocoa yam leaves. They wanted to plant onions. They wanted to plant pepper. They wanted to plant garden eggs. And they wanted to plant tomatoes. Let us work hard before the rains come, they said. Everybody worked hard on the farm. They planted yams. They planted cassavas. They planted corn. They planted cocoa yam leaves. They planted onions. They planted peppers. They planted garden eggs. And they planted tomatoes. Everyone helped on the farm, except for Anansi. Each morning, he would roll on his mat. He would clutch at his stomach. He would yell out in pain. My tummy hurts. My poor tummy hurts. I cannot work on the farm today. By doing this, he did not go to the farm with the others. He did not work as hard as them. And Nancy the spider was cunning. He thought he was smart. He did not work on the farm. But he wanted to eat the farm produce. Soon, it was time to harvest the crops. And Nancy thought to himself, I must think of a way to enjoy the food from the farm. When his wife and children came home from the big farm, he clutched at his stomach and yelled even louder. My tummy! Oh, my poor, poor tummy! Perhaps I will die. If I do die, do not bury me. Put my body in a big box and place it in the big farm. Put a cooking pan in the box and some cooking utensils as well. No, father, you will not die, his children cried. But Nancy fell down flat on the ground and died. The whole village went with his wife and children to place him on the farm. They put his body in a box. They put cooking utensils in the box. They wondered why he had asked for them. Yet, it was a dying man's last wishes. His family cried and cried. His friends cried and cried. They said many good things about him. And Nancy heard all they said. He was pleased. He did not know that he was loved by all. His friends and family mourned all day. And Nancy felt impatient and angry. He wanted them to leave the farm. It was very hard holding his breath. Also, he felt itchy. But he dared not scratch. A dead man had to be still. Towards evening, the whole village left the farm. They went back to their own houses. And Nancy crept out of the box. He let out a big breath. It felt good to be able to breathe again. He looked here and there to be sure that everybody was gone. He brought out his cooking fins 
and then he set a fire. He stole some yams, he stole some cassavas, he stole some corn, he stole some cocoa yam leaves, he stole some onions, he stole some peppers, he stole some garden eggs, and he stole some tomatoes. He made a big meal and sat down to eat. When he was done, he crept back into the box and fell asleep. The next morning, Anansi acted like he was dead. When the village folk came to the farm, they saw that their food had been stolen. Who stole our yams? Who stole our corn? Who stole our cassavas? Who stole our cocoa yam leaves? Who stole our peppers? Who stole our garden eggs? Who stole our tomatoes? They were very sad. And Nancy Crum was full of honest people. They wondered if there was a thief in their midst. They did some more work on the farm before they left for home. As soon as they left, and Nancy crept out of the box. He looked here and there. There was no one on the farm except for him. He stole some more food stuff and made himself a big meal again. This went on for a while. The village folk were sad. There is a thief among us, they said. I know what to do. And Nancy's son said, his name was Intukuma. He was as cunning as his father. I will catch the thief, he said. He made a gum man out of the sap of a gum tree. He placed the gum man in the farm. Let us go home, he said to everybody. By tomorrow morning, we shall know who the thief is. When they left the farm, and Nancy crept out of the box. He looked here and there. There was no one else on the farm. He brought out his cooking fins and went to try to dig out some yam. There was a man sitting in front of the yam plant, and Nancy was surprised. He had not seen him before. Who are you? he asked. The gum man did not speak. Of course he could not speak. He was made of gum. But Nancy did not know. He thought it was a real person. How rude, and Nancy thought to himself. I will give you a dirty slap if you don't tell me your name, he said. The gum man did not speak. And Nancy stretched his right hand and slapped the man. His right hand got stuck to the gum man. He was very angry. Leave me alone or else I will slap you with my left hand, he said angrily. The gum man did not speak. And Nancy slapped him hard with his left hand. His left hand got stuck to the gum man. And Nancy was very, very angry. I will kick you hard with my right leg if you don't let me go, he said angrily. The gum man said nothing. And Nancy kicked him very hard with his right leg. His right leg got stuck to the gum man. Now and Nancy was very, very, very angry. I will kick you very hard with my left leg if you don't let me go, he said to the man. The rubber man said nothing. And Nancy kicked him hard with his left leg. His left leg got stuck to the gum man. And Nancy was very, 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 very angry. I will give you a header if you don't let me go, he said.
the rubber man said nothing. Anansi gave the man a hard header. His head got stuck to the gun man. Anansi did his best to free himself, but he was stuck. He wiggled here and wiggled there. Still, he was stuck. Soon, it was morning. The village folk came to the farm. And Tukuma ran to the rubber man to see if it had caught the thief. Yes, indeed it had. The thief was his own father. He yelled out to the others. Everybody ran to see the thief. They beat Anansi until he was blue-black. I will never steal again, he cried out in pain. Serves him right, doesn't it?